pissed off son of the world here. <coughs> wow. Sorry guys, it's been a while since I made a video. I'm actually probably gonna, I'm actually probably on the verge of quitting YouTube. I don't know. I mean, I actually didn't make videos for maybe like, I don't know, one, two, three weeks. I don't know. I can't keep, I haven't been drinking. For, I haven't had any beer or any alcohol for two months and it sucks and it's getting worse and worse. You know, medicine doesn't help. So what the hell am I supposed to do? Either way, I got I wanted to, I got a call the other night from a good fan. You know, no disrespect or anything. And he really likes the videos and all that shit. So I want to show you guys. I appreciate that and everything. Always here for a fan. Or I always try to be anyway. It's just not that easy because... Literally, I almost freaking died the other week. So... Everything is just hell. Uh, oh, I should have used the peanut berries. Jeez. That's what I was thinking of. Guys, this is my first time playing Pokemon for like about, I'd say about a week, maybe five days, maybe seven days. I mean, I log on every day and see what kind of Pokemon outside the house, so I get, you know, five-day streak for the catching and everything, but uh, lately, that, that was it. That's all I've been doing. I guess that fan kind of helped me out in a little depressed spot I was in at that, that moment because... Uh, Honestly, it's like I'm at the point where it just seems like hell is like it would be it would be fun to go to hell right now because suffering on this earth is just so much so I can't take it anymore. I'd rather just go to hell and let it all be done with. Let me fucking suffer for eternity. Why make me suffer on this earth even more though? It fucking sucks. Not to mention everybody telling me to ugh, you guys don't want to know what people have been telling me to do. Tell me to go kill myself like that. Fuck that shit fucking idiots holy shit there's another tour chick are you kidding me you have got to be kidding me well this is the most fun i've had in about a couple days i guess i mean literally i, I kind of i don't really smoke weed anymore either because i can't get high i don't know what it was it was freaking it was a bad thing the other night or whatever i don't know that my bong was really messed up my bong was really messed up right I tried to clean it, and some alcohol got stuck inside. It wouldn't get clean, so I inhaled some bad of that that bad shit, alcohol shit that you clean it with and everything. And after that, I got a new bong, and I don't know if it's I just can't get high or if it's I don't know. I don't know what it is anymore. But my life is I have nothing. I don't have weed, and I don't have alcohol. The two things that I need to cope in this freaking life, and I don't have either one of them. Oh, yeah, by the way, we will be doing evolutions because, uh, I don't know. I haven't been keeping up with trainer tips, Nick, or anything like that. But I have noticed the freaking badge that I didn't get yet. You guys know me and my badges and everything. This one right here, I have 31. I think I could probably get up to that 40, too. Hold on, I just want to freaking... I want to get the freaking torchic that's here before he disappears, and we'll get the mudkip. Oh, yeah, the thing... I, uh, yeah, there's so many things I've noticed, and I just haven't been making videos, but, uh, have you guys noticed that, uh, there's more starter Pokemon from Generation 3 than, like, pretty much any other generation? Like, you go to Gen 1, you barely ever see fucking Bulbasaurs and all this stuff. Memorial Park, that's why we're here. Fuck you, Torchic! God damn, motherfucker, go off! Fuck you! Motherfucker. Oh, damn it. I gotta do another turn here now. Oh, boy. But I gotta get a Bulbasaur, and there's a guy walking his dog, so... Oh, oh, now you're not even gonna walk your dog through the freaking park, huh? Either way, I forgot to tell you guys this in case one of my old videos uploads. Mary Memorial Park. Uh, I'll make sure this is the last one uploads. A little bit longer and everything. Because it's a Bulbasaur now. Instead of, uh, what was it last? A seal nest? And you guys notice that even though it's like snow and icy out, like even when it's not icy out, just this, this, uh, just this freaking, uh, what well, happened? Season. Yeah, season. Just this freaking season alone, it's actually not too bad. Because there's a lot of freaking, like, snowy type of Pokemon out. 
Let me see. I don't know if there's a cop up here or what, but I'm gonna stop right here by the pokey stop because it's damn Bulbasaur. Well, I'm not gonna freaking. I don't really drive and and catch any. I haven't driven the car for a while either. Ugh. Why is so much hair on my face? Ugh. Why is this Bulbasaur so hard to goddamn catch? You son of a bitch! Yeah, get my anger going again, right? Yeah, I almost died the last time that happened, huh? Was that guy, like, at the gym or what? I don't know. Maybe he's seeing the seat to wait if I'll take it or something. I thought it was a cop at first just sitting there because there's the one that gets a break. He sits here. I guess it's good because, you know, well, in school, it's good because he gets to keep a watch over the school, I guess, and all that. There we go, Mudkip. Holy jeez, there's two mudkips too? I did not expect the video to be this long, guys. And I guess don't forget like, share, subscribe, comment. Honestly, I don't know anymore. Life is just too hard to fucking live. I'm so you know if I was in hack and sack for at least one week, three hours a week, a day. I'd probably have enough for two Mudkip evolution, full evolutions. Oh my gosh. The other one's over there. Oh. Well, you guys know it's a Bulbasaur nest, right? Because, yeah. It's not a Torchic nest or anything like that. Let's see what this guy's doing. One, two, three, four, five. Huh. So he was probably powering them up or whatever. And of course, I was looking at this gym. This has been a blue team gym for like... Three, maybe four, maybe five days straight. And it's been a blue team gym because I'm not in it. They only attack it when I'm in it. Because I literally, somebody just put a six Pokemon in today. Because I've been watching this shit for the last three to four days. Yeah, there's a lot of ice Pokemon out. Yeah, I know. This is actually, I just noticed this today. The ice and steel Pokemon are out in this type of weather. But I already got my steel badge. I just need a dragon badge, so... And we do got a lot of Pokemon to evolve. As you can see, we got a uh, 1,037, and we could only have 1,050. Dang. Let's go by the number, just to show you guys what's going on, I guess. How I'm doing back here with all these guys. I got some good appraisals to evolve, and some it looks like. I don't even know why I kept them. Uh, wow, we still got to do the evolutions for that Duskull, the shiny one. And some Shuppets. We got some a, per, a perfect Shuppet and some pretty good ones. Zangoose, I begin some pretty good appraisals. I really like Zangoose. I think he's one of my favorites from Gen 3. Because he knows Fury Cutter. He knows Dark Moves. He knows Combat Moves. You can take this guy against Snorlax. He knows Ghost Moves. Dude, he knows so many cool moves. Look at that. Ghost and Combat right there. That's beautiful. Even Dig. And that's a ground move. Oh, I don't know if you guys know him, but this is kind of like the magic carp of Generation 3 because you need 100 to evolve. And when I first saw him, I didn't. I was like, what? It's a dragon type? Well, it's a water type, but he evolves into a dragon. Need 100 to evolve, kind of like with the... Oh, you walk with your buddy and 20 kilometers per candy. That kind of sucks. But I guess that, that, that evolved form is going to be like... Uh, Really good dragon type, I think. I'm not sure if it's a third evolution for that. I don't know Gen 3 too much. Wilmer, I've actually found these guys along the water. I'm surprised there's not more of them in Saddle River Park, you know? The place with the most water around here. Oh, Heavy Slam, plus 14, that's nice. Spoink, I know I could evolve him. Gulpin, we could definitely evolve him. And we got one at 73%. With Rock Smash, not bad. We got some pretty good Roselias at pretty good high CPs right here. Electrikes, got to evolve one of these guys. Plus, oh, I still want the other one, Minus. And I know this guy evolves, I want to evolve him too. Skitty, I know I could evolve. Yeah, you guys see, I could have been doing it, but I just, I haven't. Makita, yeah, I could evolve. I could evolve all these. Shroomish, Slackoth, Routes, maybe. Wait, can I? No, I don't think so. Five more candies for routes. I haven't been catching them. I'm just like, wait, routes? It's, the name just sounds so stupid to me. Oh, yeah, I could get this one now. 
Well, I've been able to get some of these. Oh, Loto, the first time I actually did an incense for Generation 3, when Generation 3 came out, Loto had popped up once, and that was it. And that was in Hackensack. I kind of like them, though. Water and grass, that's pretty, that's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. Wurmples, I already know I could evolve these into, what, two, three different type of Pokemon. Then we got the Puchina to evolve to. Oh, my gosh, we got to evolve him. Mudkips, Trekos, Torchix. Almost full evolution for Torchic. Uh, not for Mudkip. No, that's Treko maybe. No, wow. I'm so, I thought I had more Trekos because there's a lot of Trekos around. Oh, well, don't forget, like, share, subscribe, comment. Bye.